It's the biggest reshuffle to rock the current Somali government. Prime Minister Hassan Ali Qaira replaced three of his top ministers, a move seen as one aimed at ending opposition against his nine-month-old government. In a written statement issued to the press, Foreign Minister Yusuf Garat was replaced by Ahmed Awad Isse, Somalia's envoy to the United States as the country's foreign affairs minister. Mohamed Sabriya, a renowned businessman, was also appointed to replace Abdi Farah Saeed as the Minister of Interior, Federal Affairs and Reconciliation, an important docket in the cabinet that's tasked with resolving boundary disputes and strengthening federal institutions. Abdi Hayr Mare, a current member of parliament, also replaced Qadra Ahmed Duale, one of the few female ministers in Prime Minister Hassan Ali Qaira's cabinet as Minister for Commerce and Trade. Experts say the reshuffle is timely, one aimed at improving delivery. President Farmajo once served as Prime Minister during Sheikh Sharif's government in 2011. During this time, his performance was praised by many. The public now wants a new paradigm shift. People have high political expectations and the little they need is high political delivery from this government. In October 2017, the Prime Minister fired the then Defence Minister, followed by the country's police and intelligence chief, in a move aimed at improving national security. Since 2000, political infighting has forced each Somali president to have three different prime ministers. However, Somali President Mohamed Abdullah Farmajo says his government will change that system in a bid to ensure continuity. Comments seen by experts as an endorsement of his prime minister amid the ongoing political rift in the country. We have changed the political system in the country. If political differences emerge, everything comes to a halt. What we want is continuity. This is the only way we can achieve delivery. In March, Prime Minister Hassan Ali Qaire will mark one year in office. Lawmakers unanimously endorsed him last year, vowing to fight corruption and improve service delivery. According to many here in the capital, political infighting and increased opposition against the current government seems to have distracted authorities from implementing key issues such as the fight against militant group Al-Shabaab, a terrorist organization that has threatened to increase its attacks here in the country. A military court is due to issue a verdict against five suspects accused of masterminding the October attack in downtown Mogadishu that claimed the lives of more than 500 people, the deadliest attack in the country's modern day history. As the country ushers in the new year, expectations remain high, despite the same old challenges. Meanwhile, the government hopes that 2018 will bring in new hope and an end to an armed insurgency that's entered its 11th year. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN. Mogadishu, Somalia.